Mike and Ann Howard left on their honeymoon in January 2012. They've been exploring the globe ever since. They've traveled to over 50 countries and visited seven continents and sharing their amazing adventures with their new book. It's called Ultimate Journeys for Two, which is being released September 5th, but it's on pre-order right now. Welcome you two lovebirds. Thanks for Thanks having, having us. us. This is crazy. <laughs> Whose idea was this to extend what is typically a one, two week adventure into a lifelong one? Yeah, we were gonna do the normal honeymoon and then I met a buddy and he told me about a trip he did. He did a 12-month trip around the world to 18 countries and my jaw just dropped and I came home and told right. her. Right, and we thought like, it, you know, well, when's a better time? You know, we're young, we're healthy, life is short, we have all these places we want to see and experience we want to have, like, what better time than now? Start our life together with a bang and set out there. And you've been so great to actually document everything and compartmentalize it. So you said depending on what your budget is or if you want those hidden romantic spots or if it's your foodie, you've got it all contained in this book. Well, so many, yeah, so many people were asking, they always ask us, what's your favorite place? Where should I go next? Tell me your best place. And we were like, we've just got to write all this stuff down, get our pictures, and hopefully inspire. Well, National Geographic yeah. asked us, so when they say, you know, write a book, <laughs> you do. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's our 75 favorite, pleasant, favorite places out of 500 we've been to. So what is the trick to maintaining the love? Because we know some people, when they travel, it's a disaster. What have you learned? What can you impart on all of us, whether we're traveling or whether we're living together? at home. I think roll with the punches, like mm -hmm. learn to laugh and at everything, even your, your biggest bumps in the road turn out to be your best story. So it's all about, you know, keeping a smile and positive attitude and, and seeing the beauty in everything. And to go slow too, right? Like people try and jam so much stuff into their 10 days or two weeks. Maybe you don't pick as many destinations so you can let, let things unfold and meet locals and not be so rushed about getting to your next flight or your next cab or your next yeah. activity and things will just happen naturally. How have you been able to manage all this with family and to afford all of this? To live um, the nomad life. Well, we've become very clever with travel hacking and how to get free flights and free lodging. There's lots of ways. Travel does not have to be expensive. Our average budget was around $12 a day per person. As the years went on, we just got better at it. Yeah. And you guys were so great because you have a picture here. You were in Nebraska to yeah. watch the solar eclipse on Tuesday. <laughs> yep. Take a look at this shot. It just so happens to look exactly like how I propose. Oh, let's see. I don't know uh, if I can an zoom engagement in. ring, doesn't it? And then as soon as we called you to say you're free to promote the book, you flew here. No, we yeah. drove. Oh, you drove? We Nebraska drove from Nebraska. Far from Toronto. <laughs> On Tuesday, we left Nebraska. That's from Nebraska. Crazy. We wanted to be here, so thanks. Yeah. Could you even possibly pick one of your best memories, brightest memories? It's too hard. <laughs> it is impossible, but... Oh, one of my favorite memories is actually when something went wrong on our trip. We were driving a motorbike through Thailand, and we had this big motorbike. We thought we'd get like a 1,200cc motorbike, and we're driving it through the mountains of Thailand, and we're way off road. And Anna's telling me, "No, we got to get back on a main road." I'm like, "No, it's going to be really cool views up It'll here." Smooth out. We're driving up this rutted out road, and our motorbike dies. The clutch <gasps> goes on the motorbike, and we haven't seen a car for maybe two or three hours. We're on the side of the road. It's in the afternoon, and this guy pulls up on his motorbike with his wife and the nicest guy doesn't speak a lick of English and he's like oh motorbike and like, tch, tch, bad 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 he takes us in for two full days like stay with me like oh. just what would you like to eat like full-blown takes care of us we wind up teaching English to the village he's showing us teaching us some Thai and then you the know the whole neighborhood's coming over to meet us because he's yeah. so proud that there's never been tourists <laughs> up in this village and he's like you're the first people to visit my home so it was that just should have been a bad story getting your motorbike broken down in the jungle but and then Pepitone comes to the rescue the yeah. kindness is what stays with you forever because we're all brothers and sisters on this planet exactly. as beautiful and blessed as it is and travel yeah. and and love are going to make the world a better place. We're trying to get more people out yes, there and see yeah. the world and get out of your local place and meet other cultures and see that we're not that different, right? We're all trying yeah. to do the same thing and love our families and see beautiful places okay. and, okay. you know. Keep inspiring us, guys. Travel safely. We can't wait to see where you're headed to next at Honey Trek on Twitter and pick it up. It's called Ultimate Journeys for Two. It's officially out September 5th, but you can pick it up right now in the pre-orders. Go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you.